The three presidential candidates of the Public Service Association say they are all satisfied with the court's ruling that the new and revised voters list must be published on March 4th and a new election date to be named. The ruling comes hours after the incumbent candidate Watson Duke during a media conference named February 19th as the date for the elections. Ian Wayson has more. The end of it, eh? You're not going live. You're not going live. Mr. Either. Watson Duke wouldn't be sitting in the PSA. And the banter started in the courtroom as the parties were waiting for the judge to enter. Incumbent President Watson Duke jokingly said one of the fixer's candidates was becoming a convert and will be joining the game changers. The fixer's leader, Solomon Gabriel, then hit back, saying to Duke, he will be a good minority leader. At the end of the hearing, the court ruled that March 4th was the deadline for a new voters list to be published. And I, I want to thank the fixers in particular and the judge for giving me an additional four months in office. I mean, who would, who, who would be upset for that? As a president, who would be upset doing good work? And I look forward to an additional four years. That will mean four months, four years being in office again. Mr. Gabriel called on Watson Duke to resign even before the election. You cannot go behind the backs of the court and try to pass laws to, to, when, when the court is already engaged in dealing with a, with a certain issue. And that is why he was calling a date for the 19th of February when the court was supposed to make a judgment. You know, this is what we are talking about. It's disgraceful and really this, this signals the end of Mr. Watson Duke. United Public Officers candidate Oral Saunders completed the trio happy with the court's ruling. I am indeed pleased that the court would have made the type of judgment that it would have made. You can attest to the fact that we did hold a press conference on the 27th of November when we approached the election committee and the United Public Officers would have indicated to the United to the committee, the elections committee, that they should have conceded this matter. Ian Wason, C News.